Hey everyone, sorry about that. I was just enjoying a nice Wii game on my Nintendo Game Boy Pocket here. I'm the Flying Scotsman and welcome to this video. Now the Nintendo Game Boy, that is uh, the original Game Boy, has been with us basically since uh, 1989. And in that time, there's been a lot of games released for the platform, but not only games. There were some quite interesting accessories released for the Game Boy. There was um, a piece of software which um, I believe would allow you to connect uh, your Game Boy to a sewing machine, make patterns on it, and um, and the sewing machine would basically do the rest. You have um, you've had software that um, you've had bits of uh, productivity software. You've even had um, music making software for the Game Boy, and of course you've had this wee guy. Now what this is is the Nintendo Game Boy camera. And this wee guy came out, I can't even mind if it was 1998 or 1999, but at the time I believe it was the smallest or cheapest, I can't even mind which, but um, it was a small, cheap digital camera that uh, you could buy, probably the cheapest I think, and you operated it with your Game Boy. Now, this all seems very nice and very fancy, but there were a couple of drawbacks. First off, there's not much memory on this card. I'm not entirely sure how much memory exactly is on this card, but it's uh, it's certainly not certainly not too much. Um, second off, the photos that it produces are extremely extremely low resolution and they're black and white but still this paired with the optional game by printer could allow you to take photos and um, because this camera will rotate it um, was possibly some might argue the first selfie cam. How's about that? Late nineties technology, and you can be all like, "But first, let me take a selfie." So, let's have a wee look at this now. I can't remember if I've done a video about this before, but um, bear with me here because uh, there will be something a bit more interesting coming up. So, starts off with a lovely dancing Mario. Sorry about the light. So, you have two choices. You can either shoot, as in use the camera, or you can view pre-existing photos. So, if we uh, shoot, we've got a couple of uh, options. Shoot, items, magic, check, and run. So let's try shooting first. Sorry, I'm going to have to go off screen to uh, get this. So I've got a lovely photo of the Compact Armada 1590DT. Nice. So, as you can see, I can take uh, pictures. So on the item, I can do self-timer or time-lapse. I'm guessing this will take a couple of photos, like, uh, in certain intervals. Now we've got magic. Shutterbug. Uh, trick lenses. 
I think montage something else and something else. Let's see. There, there are games on here, so um, I've I could put you know my face. <clears throat> so I've got this, which is kind of a passporty type thing. Trick lenses. I, I, oh, so trick lens, <coughs> that's kind of different kaleidoscopic, kaleidoscopic uh, style effects, um, montage? I, I, I don't know. I wonder if I took a picture of the uh, compact, the other half. Now there is, um, obviously there's uh, different effects that you can do but I mean you've got um, you've got different um, you, well you can check um, the photographs so you've also got um, the album And then, of course, there's, um, like, there's different games. So, um, there's, um, you know, these are takes on the old uh, Nintendo uh, Game, and, uh, Game and Watch series. Or the, um, the uh, Game Boy, well, this kind of reminds me of the uh, juggling game on the Game Boy Gallery, which, of course, is, for, um... A game, which was at one time a Game & Watch game, but except it's got your photo in it. Pretty rad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop one of the balls in a minute, I just know it. Oops. Who the hell's that guy? So, that's all very well and good, but what if you wanted to get your photos off of the camera? Say, well, to make a hard copy, or just to, just to keep them around? Well, at this point you'd be expecting me to pull out the aforementioned Game Boy printer, printer and uh, hook it up to this Game Boy, and then I would show you it printing in all of its... Um, thermal uh, and all of its thermal printing quality well that's just what you'd probably be expecting me to do but then some of you may know better the more astute among you will have realized that this compact armada 1590 dt is not just set up and running for some kind of background decoration or even to be a subject in the photographs Oh no. Now, Mad Cat of the 
every crummy Player 2 controller in every household back in the 90s fame actually made a different kind of an accessory. Which um, someone actually, um, recently on a vintage computer group that I'm a member of, someone actually recently got themselves one of these. And um, I must admit, I was uh, I was quite taken with it. So I got myself one of these things, and here it is. So what Mad Cats have done is to make a camera link. Now what this allows one to do is to transfer Game Boys from the Game Boy camera to the PC. I can promise you these are not these were not taken on a Game Boy camera. <laughs> anyway, well maybe that one might have been. I I don't know. Look a bit too high res even for that. So I got my one of these from uh, eBay and uh, from an eBay seller in France. You know, just taking advantage of the fact that I can, you know, buy and sell items on eBay to, uh, you know, one of any one of twenty seven different nations without having to uh, mess about too much with uh, customs and declarations and all that shite, which is totally going to be doable, um, you know, come the springtime. Not. Thanks, Brexiteers. But anyway, um, so, yeah, I got this from an eBay seller in France, and, um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox it, and we're going to test it with the 1590DT. But first we'll have a look at it. So it's for poor poor. Game Boy Color, Game Boy Pocket, and PC. That's quite interesting that it specifies that. I think, um, I can't mind if these had a different type of adapter to the original. It's, it's been so long since I played with an original. I had a, an original Game Boy at one point. I got one for my 11th birthday. Um, so it allows you to save, edit, and print Game Boy Camera pictures on PC. Send pictures to friends via the internet. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So, it's uh, transfer pictures from the Game Boy camera to PC. Um, quite interesting. It looks like it's running on uh, Windows 3.1 there. And that screenshot. I wonder if it does. That'd be interesting. I mean, it is parallel. Um, and I can't really read the rest of this. I think uh, my eyesight's kind of gone for the night. Well, for reading small print it is anyway. My eyes are just way too tired. Uh, send something pictures to PC. Uh, send and edit pictures on the PC. Save and edit pictures on the PC. That's the one. Print pictures from the PC. Send pictures to friends via the internet. That's that's right. Ah, James. Um. So, that's uh, that's what that does. So let's uh, let's unbox it. I don't know if this has ever been used. Uh. First of all, we have the software. And Possibly looks like it could have been used. And then I guess we have um, a registration card. Product registration department, PO Box, whatever, Denver, Colorado. Now, and I have a piece of paper. I wonder if this is uh, my invoice. Nope, it's camera link for Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, and PC. Now, some of you might be wondering if I'd have had a Game Boy Color, would my photographs have been taken in color? And the answer to that, sadly, is no.
because the camera itself is monochrome. Nice. <laughs> How late 90s is this? A see-through cable. That's, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> really is beautiful. And uh, because the actual cable itself is see-through as well as the plug, it looks like it should be a USB 2 cable. But it isn't one. That That is quite darling. <laughs> That said, it is nice and blue, so it matches both my Game Boy Pocket and Game Boy Camera. Right, this looks as though it is brand new. It's never been unboxed. So, uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> I will be the first person to ever unbox and untie this. Quite interesting that uh, that has a leaflet that's written in English there. Uh, I mean, I know the box is multilingual. Cable is feeling a wee bit sticky. I'm wondering if the rubber is uh, starting to warp. The, uh, I wonder if the rubber is starting to wear. Oh well. Before I really do anything with the cable, what I probably should do is actually go ahead and install the software. So that's what we will do. We will install the software for this. Um, So the CD is absolutely immaculate, perfect. So, make sure your printer port is able to communicate with the in bi-directional mode. Uh, some of the motherboard BIOS will show this as auto or bi-directional. <clears throat> okay, so um, I have to restart the computer. Actually, Before I do that, what I will do is I will plug the cable in and I will actually go into this machine's BIOS and double check um, double check the um, printer port config. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit F10.
And I'm, this will be the first time I've ever used a game light cable for the Game Boy. So, there we are. Here's an experience. But it makes sense for me that I would be linking it to, of all things, a computer. So, let's have a look. Input devices. No, that's not what I want. Uh, communications, EC pre printer part. Um, uh, right. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I don't know if those instructions had had um, how to actually uh, work the um, this software and you know what to do on the Game Boy if anything within them. Oops, I didn't let it shut down. So the uh, software is installed. Uh, camera linked software. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it. Could not get printer part information. Would I like to set the printer part information now? Yes. Uh, yikes. Um, let's have a look at... Uh, Have a look at the resources. This is all three seven eight. Could not get settings for the paint program that you want to use to modify your images. Would you like to choose one now? Bloody hell. For anyone who's not really in the know about computers, that, uh, you'd think this might be able to actually uh, do something itself. But luckily, I know what I'm doing, so I'm going to set Paint Shop Pro. Because, um, excellent. So, what I have is the Mad Cat's Camera Link software. Um, I'm guessing what I need to do, therefore, with the Game Boy, see if I can actually bring it round so you can actually see what I'm doing again, is I need to go to View. Let's find a nice picture. So, I've got this one. So we'll say print, transparent, <clears throat> oh, it's got something, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this, actually I'm going to save this directly to my network. Because I can. So.
So this is uh, this is a picture of the um, Armada 1590DT, and as you can see, extremely grainy. And yeah, extremely monochrome. But what do you want? I mean, these were never really meant to be opened on the computer, so. Why have I got a nice about screen? So I suppose if I go to modify it, it'll open it up in PaintShop Pro. Yes, it will. That's exactly what it'll do. So, what I can do with some of these pictures is um, you have um, some of the fun fact, uh, some of the fun things. Let's see, so we can find that picture of uh, me that I took earlier. So, I can paint <laughs> So, yeah, that would be like a, an Etch-A-Sketch um, I, I would like to not save this And yes, I would like to exit So, let's see So, frame. So, different types of frames that you can get on here. Let's go for one of these. <laughs> oh, wow, that looks a bit retro. Hi, guys. I'm a Windows 3.1 wallpaper. There we go. Let's get this all transferred. <laughs> and there we go. That's me. <laughs> and it <a> party. <laughs> We also have stamps. So <laughs> I could put like goofy eyes on myself. <laughs> and there's different stamps that I could have. Uh, let's see. So there's like moustaches and all that good stuff. I'm sure there's a Mario hat though. <laughs> you know what? Musical note. Perfect. Downloading data, please wait. <laughs> so I think I think you get the idea. I think I've found a slightly better one of me on here, so I think that's what I'll do. I will uh, 
download that. That's not too bad. You can kind of see who it is. So, yeah. <clears throat> yes, you can use it as, as a digital camera, but I think the pictures actually do look better on the Game Boy screen than what they do on a computer. And just, um, just as a last one, we've got, um, got a nice wee picture of Tina. And it does not really look like her. Because, yeah. That one kind of looks a bit more like her. But there you have it. So, that's the uh, Game Boy camera and um, the software link. So now I have these pictures on my computer, I will be able to show you them. So, that's what I will do now. And with that, I think it is time to end this video. So there you have it, um, the Mad Cat's link cable for the, well, the, the Mad Cat's camera link for the Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy Color and Game Boy Pocket, and the PC. So what do I think of it? Well, you know what? I like it. I think it's a product that needed to happen, especially, you know, given the number of people who in the late 90s were getting PCs. I certainly think it was a good idea, you know, for this to exist. Should it have came in the box with a Game Boy camera or what have you? Well, no, not really, um, because not enough people would have been interested in using one of these for the PC. To be honest, really, it's it's only geeks like Marcel and uh, other people who are also geeks like Marcel um, that would have actually used this. So, um, you know, I'm certainly glad that it existed, but, um, you know, and... And it's actually surprising, it was surprisingly easy to get hold of one for a reasonable price. It's, so, uh, you know, it wasn't hideously, hideously overly expensive, even for myself. But, um, if it, is it something I'll use regularly? Well, it's something I will, would probably use about as regularly as the Game Boy camera. I did try and get a Game Boy printer, but it got lost in the mail, so... 
you know, when I realised that these existed, um, I just thought, well, I'd sooner have pictures on a computer anyway, whichever camera they came from, um, you know, than thermal printouts of those uh, sticky little silly things. Game Boy printers, mechanical device, you know, and and the paper supply for that, well, you can use tell roll, but um, the results aren't the best, but I guess they don't really need to be. But it's it's kind of nice that, you know, I can at least see these pictures on a big enough screen. What I will do, though, is I'm just going to go into... I'm just going to go into my um, pictures folder and just see what kind of re resolution these images are. So the regular uh, J for Windows 3.1 one. I should have realised it doesn't show you this information. <laughs> Windows 95. Oopsie. Um, Still don't know. <laughs> ah, image information. There we go. Yep, it's one sixty by one hundred and forty four bits per pixel four, max number of colors sixteen. That's quite interesting that it has at least 16 colours. But there you have it, That's, um, that is the Game Boy camera. And um, the Mad Cat's uh, camera link cable standing in for the Game Boy printer. And um, I must admit, I do like the fact that it's blue because it matches my Game Boy pocket and my Game Boy camera. So we're all blue over here, because of course we are. So with that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching and please join me for my next video. Cheerio, bye.